Hey everybody and welcome to Northern Lion Tries Assemble with Care, a narrative puzzle game for the makers of Monument Valley. I never played Monument Valley, I heard amazing things that it was one of the best iOS slash mobile puzzle games ever released. This is out on Steam, we did receive a code from the developers, thank you for that. It's $7 American, it's in that range, and it opens with no main menu, because it's immersive, it's atmospheric, and we're gonna play Star Lord's tape deck. And we're gonna close this up. You think I don't know how to use a Walkman? You've lost your mind. Now, if you'll give me a moment, I'm gonna lower the volume slightly, because I think it might be a little on the loud side here. Who knows, it might also be a Carly Rae Jepsen song. So we're gonna plug this in. Um, like the, oh, there you go. Plug, plug that bad boy in right there. This game is best played with sound. One step ahead of you. Hit me with the play button. Ooh. Assemble with care. Begin. I will. I, I was very wor uh, worried slash nervous they were gonna hit us with like a... Road, I thought oh. I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. But as my train pulled into the station at Bella Riva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my yeah, journey. Yeah, probably because you just got off of a train. The world's slowest and most boring form of transportation. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. So if you don't know what's going on with this, this is the central conceit of the puzzles. I believe that you are a handy woman. You fix things that people bring to you, old devices and stuff like that, restore them, and then, um... I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing what did I tell our you? most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. Ah, the 90s. When you could make a career as a traveling VCR repair woman and finance a train voyage through Europe, fresh out of high school. Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. All right. Well, all you got to do is click the button, dummy. Problem solved. Open that. Okay, we're doing an any percent unpack speed run, please. Um, step one, click on the suitcase. Step two, drop it on top of your cup of coffee. No, 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 no. You got to click on the... I know you got to click on the clasps. Don't be a fool. Okay, good stuff. What do we got in here? Um, we have... A lockbox. No hope of restoring things without these. We have an outfit. Lois Lane's trench coat. A hairbrush. Practical and stylish. You know, some of us don't have the privilege of being able to use scrunchies, at least not in our heads. I picked up these sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully, I'm cool enough to pull them off. Did I? Oh dear! Well, you love the sunglasses. You got no dialogue for the earrings, huh? Oh. Never mind. Show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. And my a picture frame. After I made my first repair. It seems like a lifetime ago. Plus, they then they had to take the film to a 24-hour photo. I mean, life wasn't sure easy back more then. Close-ups of my fingers with this. Okay, complete any percent speed run adventure a classic suitcase percentage. Finally, I'd made it to Bella. I'm ready for my big break. I come for the food festival taking place in a few days time. Give me a Casio After keyboard. Off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months. I was craving a decent meal. If you'll allow me to turn the page. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it. So I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. Bring out your dead VCRs. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there, beyond the four walls of our antique store, that I had to be a part of. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. 
Look, I don't mean that the game is obviously coming across very sweet and genuine. My natural response to that is to be needlessly cynical and dismissive and glib. Um, but all I can think of when she says revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires is those awful pictures from, like, the people who clean computers where they open it up and a bunch of spiders run out. Let's hope that doesn't... <laughs> Let's hope they don't benefit me. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl. And a voice she was longing to hear. Yo, do you think she's got the new Iggy Azalea album, but she can't listen to it? Walk a mile in these Louboutins. That's definitely a tape deck. Yo, the art is gorgeous. It's so matte. It was my first morning in Bella Riva, and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town. Its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. In the main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway for the festival in a few days time. Can you quit bragging about all the time you're able to spend outdoors right now? As quit rubbing it in. Flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake. When I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. Ah, there's she a sucker born every minute. Back until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. There's your problem, kid. Everything's digital nowadays. What you gotta do is get yourself some flak lossless files. You're gonna load those into your Og Vorbis converter and then link that to FUBAR 2000. All your customized VFX and equalization plugins are gonna make your life a lot easier. Absolutely. Restore. Okay. Step one. We grab the Monado. We grab the screwdriver. And we just start bashing. <laughs> Power off, please. No, we would like to rotate. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, surprising absolutely no one. I'm not that handy of, uh, of an individual. I think that will not come as a surprise. Basic maintenance, no problem. Um, but I have been playing a lot of escape room games recently. Luckily, I have some spares. And I'm thinking that that might help me out here. Yo, what the heck, lady? You ain't even got the copper tops in here? Costco batteries, get out of here. You gotta put some Duracells in this thing. Okay. Really? That's... That'll be 100 Bella Reven Lira, please. Come on. She's done it. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. It's a tough job. Hold on. I think we had to click done, but I am a fool. Like, is it is it not screwed in? It's screwed in, right? I mean, now for once, I've done the handy stuff. I'm just not sure I got the, the rest of it. So, oh, you gotta unwind the tape. The tape is all screwed up. Okay, so you grab a pencil. I was alive for cassette tapes. And you use Why a pencil. You yeah, I use a pencil to rewind the tape back into the thing. And then place it back there. And you're going to grab this thing. You're going to rotate it back like this. Hit yourself the eject button. Put the tape in. Put it back down. Play. As a music box plays, we hear a woman sing along. Minato cassette recorder 100% all bosses complete. When it finished, Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. All right, kid. Don't forget to get your mom to pay my invoice. Very good. It's my mom. She's not here anymore. Yikes. Timing. It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a stick of gum, 
three mismatched buttons and a yo-yo. I'll take the yo-yo, please. I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious. I wrote out a full receipt. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered. Part I wouldn't be able to fix. It's not really your purview, to be honest. I don't mean to... I understand you're being introspective and melancholic, but... It's not your role to be a surrogate mother. Yo, it's Mathis! If you're watching this and you don't know who Mathis is, only the second best My Mario Maker 2 player I know personally. I day doing small jobs in and around the square. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message asking me to make one more visit. The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. The front door was opened by a harried-looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. From Animal Crossing? I'm so sorry she I'm just you joking. This Please, come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. Someone chattered! We need Judge Mathis on the case! My father's statue. What's left of it, at least. Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. Could have left off that last sentence. I'm sickly, uh, strictly here for a transactional nature. Um, it really, <laughs> just a handy woman. But five minutes with Isabel, and do you think you can salvage it? I don't know. It's a six-piece jigsaw puzzle. This could be tough, and by could be, I mean actually could be. Will to you be, be honest. To see the glue? I don't want people seeing the cracks. Okay. Pick it up. Oh. Pick it up. Place it. Rotate it. Like such. Use glue. Oh. Just absolutely douse it. Well done. Then. Oh, baby. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Was the first time you've experienced glue, my friend? I believe we would like to place some glue on this face right here. And then pop that bad boy right into socket. Oh, baby. This is my kind of puzzle game. I will say, I'm like, hold on. This has got to be the next piece. So we'll glue this one up. I actually, I mean, you've heard me say this before. I really like uh, puzzle games that are tactile. I wouldn't even call this a puzzle game yet. It might get more difficult later, but um, I, I really like games that are more tactile. Uh, and this definitely fits the bill in that department. Um, Very narrative driven as well. You know what it reminds me the most of? A, a, from Northern Lion Tries perspective at least. Is the criminally underviewed Northern Lion Tries for the sci-fi puzzle game still there? I think that uh, this and that have a lot, of, a lot of shared lineage. Good stuff. And then... We already got glue on the other part, so if we can just... Stick this bad boy right there. Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. Maybe I'll use that one myself. Uh, and your little foot is in trouble there. And maybe the cape as well could use a little bit of glue. This time we'll just put it around the outside. I mean, I, unless you're a shareholder in Elmer's. You know, I'm not trying to make the corporation rich. Really just more stunned that you couldn't fix this thing yourself given the circumstances and there's Mathis reading a script for his new Judge Mathis episode and holding a toy lightsaber pretending to be Anakin Skywalker for it Judge Mathis Jedi Academy my father episode 8 make something of myself he didn't have time for anything less I mean judging by your suspenders what are you you work in a bank or something like that you a henchman to a Batman villain as Joseph put the statue back on the shelf it nudged against the family portrait, stood proudly next to it. 
So he was Bellariva's mayor. And that was Izzy's mom. They must both miss her so much. Sorry. I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Uh, looks like I'll be working late. A life in politics. Sorry, honey, I couldn't get home tonight. Things got really busy planning the food festival in the town square. You should not take a career in politics if you're not up for mega infrastructure projects like the Bello Riva Food Festival. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. To leave, they always found an excuse to be busy, to avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. And that she was watching the right YouTubers. Okay. Day four. Fixing a rotary telephone. Zoomers. This is a device that the generation older than myself used to use to make telephone calls. I know you're like, but it's not a glass rectangle. Look, back in those days, they didn't have access to the lithium and palladium required to make a smartphone. So instead, there was a big yellow box made out of pure wax. And you just saw it. I don't know why they used the circle dial. I'm sure it's something to do with the me mechanics of what's going on on the inside. And then you held a banana to your ear in order to hear what was happening. I just wanted to give you a little context for where we were going on this one. My second day in Bellariva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful sunny morning. Walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. I stopped, breathing in the smell of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. Is this start of Beauty and the Beast? I was about to go inside when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria. Were you here yesterday handing out flyers? I have a job for you. Her place was petite, tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. Judging by the empty tables inside, though, her potential customers hadn't noticed it either. She, uh, you don't know what the business situation is like in Bella Riva. May, look at it, it's got a cocktail glass on the front of it. Maybe this is a, a location that thrives after dark. So presumptuous. It's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, she walked over to the counter and returned with an old rotary phone. At least I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some uh, seasoning tips, but it won't connect. Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? Something tells me she is not looking for seasoning tips. All right, I'll tell you, things are getting a little bit more difficult. Right off the bat here. Step one, you're going to want to unplug that phone jack. And by unplug the phone jack, I mean... You can fix it, can't you? Just give me a second, lady. You, you got to look at it first. You grab the screwdriver. Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. Madam, it's... Honestly, a little easier to do the job without the conversation involved. I understand that's not the point of the game, but I'm a task-oriented individual. If you give me some time with some, some unfettered access to the device, I will come up with a solution. I promise you that. Okay, the rotary telephone. There's your problem. Look at this part. It's all freaking rusted out. Click the wire and drag it to the toolbox to detach it. New wire, please. Thank you. We'll just grab it in the future. So this part is all jacked up. There's your problem right there. You're going to want to put in a new telephone chip. Then you're going to want to use this top wire. Um, and that's, that's the phone, brother. So that goes into there. And then this is the bell. So that goes into here. Here's your problem. You literally got the wires crossed. This puzzle... Oh, God. What have I done? This puzzle's about my speed. 
Hey, uh, put the phone thing and attach it to the phone icon and then take the bell and attach it to the bell icon. It's got everything you could possibly want. Okay, that's... You've made a mistake here. I'm not sure if you've noticed it. There you go. Can we please, uh, re-screw this? No, no, the bells are... Maybe the... Oh, that one bell is, uh, cracked and broken. You're absolutely right. Sorry, Mom, the mob has spoken. Monorail. Good stuff. Um, oh, the screws go in the cup. She's organized. She's truly a professional. I'm gonna grab one of these, pop it in there, send it. Full send. Another full send for you. And a full send on top. Oh, sorry. A full send <laughs> on the bottom. You almost got me there for a second. You think I've forgotten about the fact that we're, uh, Dealing with a telephone here? Now, aren't I missing a valuable piece? For example, the ability not only to dial the number, but then to hear and also respond? You're absolutely right. Still a few parts missing. I know. You don't have to tell me that. I'm not stupid. I'm smarter than you. He's done it. The rotary phone. Complete. Yo, the aesthetics in this game are extremely on point. She seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down? Madam. Yeah, it's ready to go. It's a It'll phone, not a frozen pizza. No That's if I can pay my phone bill anyway. <laughs> and the rent and the suppliers. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. I sat at one of the empty tables, while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. Hello! How's my favorite sister doing today? Ah, uh, you know. Terrible! As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. She's probably asking what her turnip prices are in Animal Crossing. I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. You don't need to be here, though. Can't you just put the check in the post? When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee. Her hands trembling. Sorry about that. My sister's decided to fly in for a visit. <sighs> oh, God. I have to get ready. Actually... I might have another job for you. Yo, fix an espresso maker? This is a very pleasant game to spend time in. I feel like the price is right, the puzzles are light, it's not, at least so far, it's not- Oh, a camera. It's not a situation where you're gonna find yourself racking your brain, trying to figure out how to make this happen, at least not yet. I like it, it's pleasant. A little bit light, and I mean that in both a good way and perhaps the way that's like, you know, I, I don't feel like 100% engrossed. But I'm kind of like just letting it ambiently wash over me and I'm having a good time. The story's told in like breezy, stylish way with good voice acting. It, it's never like, you know, a paragraph of text world building a situation you don't care about in the town of Bella River, a food festival dance, etc., etc. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. That's why you always check in under a pseudonym. Curious. I took the creaking elevator up to the top. I always floor. check in as Tim Stimson. The room number they'd given. I knocked. Are you here about the camera? It's about time. The woman in front of me was immaculate. Not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister tells me you know how to fix things. I'd usually go to an expert, of course, but in this town... Rude. So this was Carmen's sister? The two of them couldn't have been more different. Well, one of them could be, like, a big green space alien. The other one could be, like, a tiny little mouse. But I understand you. But you're taking poetic license and I'm being needlessly pedantic. I apologize. The viewfinder is completely dark. I'm ready. Okay. Lenax. Look at this. We already we I, anytime I see blueprints, I'm very happy. Okay, so step 1, we're going to bust this thing wide open. This is the first puzzle I find myself intimidated by, to be honest. 
You know, I roughly understand how a phone works. A camera is basically still magic to me. I, I don't really get it, to be honest with you. It's still... I, I, I truly believe that uh, when your photo is taken, you fixed anything this valuable before. a piece of your soul is forever kept on the photo. Okay, so hold on. I think I saw your problem in here, by the way. If you'll allow me to rotate. There you go. You dropped it, dummy. Not so cool now, are you? Turns out your viewfinder mirror is busted. I could adjust the angle of the mirror. Okay, good to know. So we needed to reflect light. Oh my. Oh my. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Perfect. That's cool. Now the viewfinder should be working. And if you'll excuse me, let's Well, hold on. You got to put some film in this son of a gun. Oh, that is not how <laughs> Normally, you don't disassemble the entire camera before you put film in it, so allow me to put this back here. And uh, this part goes on there. This part goes on the front. This part goes on the top. Start screwing this bad boy back together. And at $75 a screw, that's a $300 itemized bill. And the mirror is another $1,500. Um... You know, let's just call it an even 2,000. Still a few parts missing. I know. I know. So, if I remember correctly, and it's been a while, to put film in a camera... Maybe it's different for a camera that's this cool. I actually think we do need to unscrew the top. Normally, you just... You see that little knob on the left there? You would like pull up the tab on that and then pull out the film canister. But for this, might not be how she goes. I'm going to be honest, that's going to take a little bit of time off of our any percent speed run. But we still got to be amongst the top 10 runners in the game right now. This is a Lenax U2G58 camera. God, I'm good. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I put my disposable to shame. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limited edition. The first of its kind. It cost me three months salary. But it was worth it. Yeah, but if you just put that in the Bitcoin. I had no idea what three months salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. Well, maybe you should start charging the people you do business with more than a cup of coffee to fix their stuff. It was strange, really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better. She took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is immaculate. At least there's one person Thanks. in this town who knows what they're doing. I've been using a screwdriver for a long time. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I wondered why Helena had bothered coming if she thought so little of her sister. I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, all she wants is money. If she thinks I'm lending her another penny, she'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. That didn't sound good. If Hurricane Helena was about to hit, I hoped Carmen was ready. All right. So that's um. I was I just got like so confused in my brain. I was like, some assembly required. Damaged in transit. Like there, so many different games I have played. Assemble with care. Assemble with care. That's assemble with care. It's available on Steam now. I'll put a link in the video description below. Of course, I did receive a copy for this from the developers. Thank you for that. Interesting game. I love a tactile puzzle game. This was no exception. Priced right and seems like something that could be the perfect companion to a breezy stay inside quarantine kind of afternoon. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We've got some subscriber milestones that are within reach. 8 15,000. We're playing a little bit more Super Smash Brothers. Leave a comment. I'm replying to the comments. Let me know what you thought of the video on the game. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!